Hey there, welcome to Farmcraft. What do you guys do with your old hard drives when they break? Well, I found a really good use for them. I like to uh, put them on my anvil and beat the crap out of them. No, actually, uh, let's, let's back up. I already took this apart and uh, it has something in here that you can really use. So uh, let's rewind and uh, go back in time. There's something in here that I've that I found pretty useful and used in, in a lot of different areas in the shop. So uh, let's pull this thing apart. And there's always a screw here that uh, they cover up with a sticker, and that's so that you can't try to claim warranty after you've uh, you've dug into it. that's what I'm after. That is a rare earth magnet that is mounted to a special piece of metal that doesn't let the magnetic flux go through that direction. It's pretty interesting. Um, but very strong that way. Almost nothing that way. They're very convenient. If you want to put this on something you just put a couple screws in and you're good to go. So here's my bench top drill press. See that? This is uh, one of those magnets from an older hard drive. They were a little bit bigger. Just popped a couple screws in. Holds the chuck key very well. Almost a little too well. You really have to yank it off of there. But you're not going to lose your chuck key. On the other side of that drill press, I have another one mounted. This is an old chuck from a cordless drill that broke. Uh, this chuck doesn't grab small bits well, so I just use this chuck uh, to grab what I usually use as an eighth inch bit for a pilot hole. So I just have this sitting here whenever I want to drill a pilot hole. I put this chuck in this mount like that. I can go ahead and drill. And then when I'm done with this, I just stick it on the magnet. You know, that chuck's pretty heavy. And that magnet holds it no problem. I mean, you turn this thing on, it's vibrating. They're not going to fall off. That magnet is really strong. We're looking at my lathe here. This front plate was supposed to just be bolted on, but uh, I wanted to be able to get behind it easily. Uh, so rather than putting the bolts on, I just left the studs in. And then I put a couple of those magnets. And uh, then I have access to the back. That's just where I keep scrap metals and whatnot. And this thing just easily pops back on and stays put. Makes a very easy access there. So what else could this be useful for? The discs uh, oftentimes are aluminum, so those can be uh, used just for metal stock. The case uh, is, I think, aluminum. It could be zinc. Uh, very unlikely that it would be magnesium. The main thing is these magnets. Let's screw this magnet to a board and we'll see how much weight it can hold. There we go. Alright, I just weighed out some chunks of metal for this thing. That's 310 grams. That's a kilogram. That's a kilo and a half. And, uh, well, that's three kilos. So place your bets. How much is this little tiny magnet going to lift? Get some reference here. It is an inch and an eighth long in its longest dimension. And it's about, it's only a quarter inch wide. That's a tiny little magnet. Well, let's start out with 300 grams. No problem. Kilogram? 2.2 pounds? Wow. No problem. Kilo and a half. I can shake it off, but it picks it up pretty easily. And now, you know, three kilos, come on. No way. Well, look at that. I can shake it off.
It's right at the limit of what it can lift, but it sure can. Three kilograms. Look at that thing. That's a big piece of train track. But that shows you just how strong these little magnets can be. And this is from one of the newer drives. The magnets that came with the older drives, they had two of them, and they were much bigger. A lot of you aren't going to take my word for it, so I'm going to screw one of these on. This is one of the old type magnets. Alright, how much can that hold? Well, I can tell you, that can pick up that three kilos no problem. So let's get something heavier. Alright, here's a piece of quarter inch flat bar. That is about, what, three feet long. It weighs 5.8 kilograms. There's the big magnet. Now just so you know, it's just the one. The other one is not involved. Not even in the middle, and it's picking up. Let me stack these on it. Yeah, I can do that too. That is right on the edge. Got it. Try to keep this balanced. Got it. Wow. Scraps. Got it. Got it. This is getting ridiculous. My hand is slipping. I think we might have found the limit. Let me take those last two off. See if it'll lift that. Oh, that is so close. Got it. All right. That is the limit of what it can lift. Let's go weigh that. eleven point one kilograms it's over twenty two pounds one little magnet so this one was not an aluminum disc as you can see there the disc shattered so it was a, a glass based type disc I'm not sure exactly what they are maybe I'll look it up and put it on the screen but I might be too lazy, so maybe not. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.